Craniosynostosis Craniosynostosis A birth defect in which the bones in a baby's skull join together too early. This happens before the baby's brain is fully formed. One or more of the sutures closes too early. This can limit or slow the growth of the baby's brain. As the baby's brain grows, the skull can become more misshapen. Most babies are otherwise healthy, but some children have developmental delays or intellectual disabilities. Because either the this condition has kept the baby's brain from growing and working normally, or because the baby has a genetic syndrome that caused this and abnormal brain works. Types. It depends on what sutures join together early. Sagittal synostosis, most common. The baby's head will grow long and narrow, scaphocephaly. Coronal synostosis, second most common. When one of these sutures closes too early, the baby may have a flattened forehead on the side of the skull that closed early, anterior plagiocephaly. The baby's eye socket on that side might also be raised up and his or her nose could be pulled toward that side. Bicoronal synostosis. When both sides of these sutures close too early, the baby's head will grow broad and short. Brachycephaly. Lambdoid synostosis. Rare. The baby's head may be flattened on the backside. Posterior. Plagiocephaly. Metopic synostosis. Rare. The top of the baby's head shape may look triangular. Narrow in the front and broad in the back. Trigonocephaly. Causes. Combination of mutation and teratogenic factors. Maternal thyroid disease. Clomiphene. Fertility medication. Just before or early in pregnancy. Diagnosis. Usually soon after a baby is born, but sometimes later in life. An abnormally shaped skull. No, soft spot, on the baby's skull. A raised firm edge where the sutures closed early. Slow growth or no growth in the baby's head size over time. Shape of the baby's face. To confirm the diagnosis, use imaging techniques, e.g. court or CAT scan for the details of the skull and brain, whether certain sutures are closed, and how the brain is growing. Treatment. Surgery. Relieves pressure on the brain, corrects this condition, and allows the brain to grow properly. When needed, it is usually performed during the first year of life. Special. Medical helmets. Help mold the baby's skull into a more regular shape. Nothing. As the baby gets older and grows hair, the shape of the skull can become less noticeable.